the Eye of Terror. It leads to the Immaterium, a literal living hell where the four Chaos Guards reside. Even the things that go bump in the night are terrified of what lies here. A place where the Emperor's Silver Angels, the Grey Knights of the Audio Malleus, fight literal demons. So, if you want a little night light as a diorama so you can find to uh, wirelessly charge your phone, look no further. <laughs> oh, I hope the lights don't go off on me. So, with only one issue at hand of what I could think of for building a little diorama to go on my wireless charging port uh, when my phone's not there, was... Um, how the bloody hell am I going to make a wireless diorama? What's going on guys? Welcome back. And yes, we're going to be building a wireless diorama. And how? How? Well, after having a good long hard think about it, I went back in memory and remembered when my iPhone didn't have wireless charging and I'd had some of these. So uh, I knew I bought a pack of two. I went around hunting to find where that second one was. And here it is. It is a wireless adapter for phones. So as you can see here, I chucked my phone down this wireless pad. And if you get it in the right spot, <laughs> It'll start charging lovely now if you unplug that or just take the phone up even plug this into the bottom and it will start charging the phone not as efficiently or as, or as quickly as normal wireless charging but as you can see just here once it's in the right spot power is getting to my phone so that is a fantastic place to start and i now know how i'm going to base and start with this diorama the next bit is going to involve a little bit of chopping soldering and lots of crossing the fingers and hoping for the best so with that i went and bought myself one of these uh it was just an adapter plug because i needed to get lightning charge or lightning point to go into that wireless adapter and the best way to do it is just to cut this off <laughs> strip it down and then solder on some led lights and hope that it works. So before I actually soldered anything together, I did do a little bit of a test play just by wrapping the wires from each of these parts together, plugging it all together, and sticking it on that wireless charging port. <laughs> and oh, yes. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. Now, when it came to printing out this model, it was a bit of an issue. Five times I failed this print i don't know because it's i tried to slice something up for myself because this should have been a whole bust but i've removed bits and done things myself so i've probably done something to the process which i shouldn't have um lesson learned for me i suppose next time get a professional to do it but anyway next thing i want to do is i want to start drilling through the resin now remember as well that resin is very toxic especially when you're turning it into dust form. So just make sure that you're not getting it in your mouth, in your lungs, in your eyes, up your nose, up in your ear holes, you know, like the standard places that you don't want dust and things that are generally toxic. This is usually where someone does a crude bone impersonation. But I'm better than that. <laughs> so for the next step of our diorama, I really want to make it look like this demon is breaching through the Immaterium into real space via the warp. So I've got some baking powder and some UV baking powder, baking paper. Don't try it with baking powder. I don't know what the results will be. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, so on to some baking paper, put put down or grease proof paper or however you want to call it put some uv resin and then just start to solidify it so it keeps its shape slightly then we're going to do that multiple times over to fill up this entire sheet once that's done and we've let it dry and set we can then peel it off and then that's going to be going around the outside and we're going to be painting that up like i did with my sort of warp spiral in a previous star armor which i'll link up above uh where i had the death guard looking through the warp at each other so the next key ingredient for this build for myself i know is going to be definitely using some milliput now the reason why i'm using uh, the white super fine one was because when i bought it on amazon it would only let me order two lots of this so i don't need two lots of of this uh milliput so i'm going to use all of this up because I also need somewhere that's not going to shrink and hiding all those wires and holding 
that wireless adapter to the bottom of the star armor are going to be some key points that i really want to sort of not get too affected later on and also it being white i know later on i'm going to be using inks for painting it will grab onto that paint and you won't really be able to see it so we we'll to mix up absolutely all of this because we're going to be using it to hold in our resin it's going to be holding on our wires and our adapter so it's got a big job to play so i don't want to underestimate and just use a little bit like i initially thought i was going to do before thinking do you know what sod it let's just get all of it in here so for probably what was the most rage inducing part of this whole build I was trying to get these wires to follow the path that i had drilled through the head and uh i mean the plan was stick them to the back get a little bit of wire stick it up and pull them through yeah worked absolutely fine for the first one the first one i didn't record all six hours of me trying to get the second one to come through i don't know why i just thought you guys probably wouldn't want to see that so <laughs> oh god i'm sure there's a better way of doing this but that's the way i've done it i might try fishing wire next time so once you've finished threatening all forms of vengeance curses and anger upon the families of those that have invented these particular wires <laughs> what <laughs> Next thing you want to do is get them all soldered up. Now you can see I've got little red bits at the bottom, which I'm going to circle here. Those are some heat shrink bits of um, rubber or plastic or whatever the hell they're made of. It's to protect the wires later on so that they're not going to be rubbing up and causing the electricity to arc to one another. So once I'm done here, I'll slide them up and then just with a bit with a lighter, a bit of flame, a bit of fire and heat, they shrink onto the, the wires and the areas where I've just soldered to stop that from happening. So now the last thing we've got to do is one last check just to make sure everything is working properly and fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. Doing all right, isn't it? I am the hammer. I am the right hand of the emperor, the instrument of his will, the gauntlet about his fist, the tip of his spear, the edge of his sword. We are the Grey Knights, a byproduct of the heresy discovered from the Knights Errant and formed in the second founding. Their gene seed comes directly from the Emperor of Man. Also known as his Silver Angels, the Grey Knights have but one mission, smite the demon, remove its filth. The Grey Knights are one of the most elite armies in the whole of the Warhammer 40k galaxy. A force of individuals, yet a company of heroes. They are the Imperium's ultimate answer to the demonic menace. The final challenge to becoming a Grey Knight is to slay a demon using all but his name. No armour to defend you, but that of which the Emperor sees fit to guide you with. They are a force of psychic fury that is not to be toiled with. In their fortress monastery upon Titan, locked away between the sheets of ice and rivers of liquid methane, sits the chambers of purity, said to which holds the final tomb and resting place of Malkador the Sigilite himself, in a simple wooden box embellished with a golden seal. Written upon this ancient parchment is the instruction known only as the Terminus Decree. Only a supreme Grand Master of the Grey Knights knows how to open the box and he will do only when all hope of the future of humanity seems lost. The Terminus Decree is the ultimate sanction of the Grey Knights, a secret so vast it could bring the Imperium to its knees or save it in its darkest hour. Not only are these Grey Knights, these silver angels, the answer to the demonic incursion but also the answer to the end or renewal of the Imperium. And with the final stroke of his nemef nemesis force, Halberd, a word that I seem to be really struggling to say quickly. <laughs> what a mouthful. This Grey Knight is going to be bringing this demon down before he even has time to fully manifest. And that is what I really like about this little diorama. Not only is it a cool narrative between two models, one sort of tiny insect of a Grey Knight space marine and terminator arm, going up against what is going to be quite a large demon of corn uh i think it was based on a blood first of what i downloaded and printed so yeah i'd want to get rid of that as quick as i can and definitely before it's got arms as well so uh 
<laughs> anyway, guys, if you could like, share, subscribe, I'll show you the glamour shots in just one moment. We are so close to a thousand subscribers, and that is all down to you guys. So thank you for everything you have done for me. Anyway, enough from me. I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the glamour shots.